Hi, I'm Kate from the Small Things blog. Today I'm going to show you a really quick casual style. Um, it's just going to be a little knot on one side of our hair. So it's very simple. You have to have hair long enough to be able to tie it in a knot, but not super long. And you can definitely do this on straight hair. It'll show off the knot a little bit more if your hair's straight, but I like it on curly hair as well. Um, so I'm going to do this on the opposite side that my bangs are on. My bangs are very long, but they're still kind of there. So I'm just going to keep calling them bangs. Um, and you want a big enough section to where you can see the knot that you're going to tie, but not so big. And we're going to end up placing it sort of on top of our hair. So you, you want it big enough, but not so big that you're going to be able to see the parts in your hair. So this is kind of the section. Let me comb this out a little bit. Kind of a triangle section from my part going just down to here. So that's really all I need. And comb it out. <clears throat> okay. So from here, we're going to put two fingers to create a loop. I'm going to do that again. Put two fingers here and loop your hair around. So that's all we did. Grab it with your left hand and hang on to the ends with your right hand. Open up that loop a little bit and then Grab your ends, pull them through the circle, kind of tighten it up, do a better job than I did, and you'll have a knot right there, and then we'll pin it right there. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that again. Okay, so you put two fingers on top of your hair and just wrap it around so you've created a loop. Grab that loop with your left hand, and then grab your ends with your right hand. If you need to kind of roll it in so you can start higher up, go ahead and do that. Then put your ends between your thumb and index finger of your left hand. Pull it through just like you'd be tying a knot. And then tighten it up a little bit. And then we'll pin it right about here. So once you get that knot part down, which is the most important part, um, you'll see kind of how simple it is. It's just a matter of sort of maneuvering your fingers around that hair. So then open up a bobby pin. We're just going to be putting it around the ends and then locking it into our hair. I really only need about one bobby pin to hold that in place, but if you need to do two, do two. Another way I can show you is you're going to go underneath the knot. So open your pin and just slide this pin right underneath the knot so nobody sees it. So don't lay your bobby pin like that on top of your hair because it'll be really noticeable. And since you have this knot there, you might as well use it to your advantage and kind of hide your pins. So that's all there is to it. A really simple way to kind of pull one side of your hair out of your face, but a little bit more interesting than just pinning it back. So if you want to see any other hair tutorials, be sure to check my blog and my hair tutorials page. I have over 50 up there for you. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at K, the number 8, underscore small things, or you can also find me on Facebook at the Small Things blog. Thanks for watching.